Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Mommy Moxie, and I've gotten a lot of requests on the topic that we're going to talk about today, which is detoxing, and then how I prep for chemotherapy for my infusions. The This was totally kind of a trial and error, plus lots of research. My experience, obviously, is probably different than a lot of other people's, and with that in mind, keep, you know, the disclaimer that we always talk about... I'm not a medical professional. I'm just somebody who's a data nerd <laughs> and has done a ton of research on things that will help me personally. So my chemotherapy may be different than your chemotherapy. Some of these things may not work for you. I think that some are a pretty general blanket type of thing, but make sure as with everything, you discuss this with your oncologist or your naturopath or whatever medical professional it is that is overseeing your care during your cancer treatments so that you're not doing anything that conflicts with their um, protocol, I guess you could say. Some things, like I mentioned antioxidants a lot for me, it was something that I cleared with my medical oncologist, but that's one of the things that I know there are certain kinds of chemo that do not do well, that are not as effective if you're taking antioxidants. And that's why it's important to talk to your doctor. Now, for me, again, another disclaimer that we always talk about, I talk about a lot of Young Living products because when I first uh, was diagnosed, that was the first thing I turned to. I've been a Young Living member for three years and have been doing it as a business for a couple now. Great team. I've mentioned it before. Very diverse cancer survivors, cancer slayers slash healers, however you however you look at it personally. And then just people that are generally concerned about health and wellness. And that's why they've become members and, and gotten on board. If you want to become a member, absolutely great. We have a, a fantastic group and we'd love to have you. We'll talk more about that at the end. But for now, let's go ahead. So that's why, anyway, that's why I mentioned these products is because I'm familiar with them. I know how they're sourced. I know how they're, how they are, made how that they're not full of a bunch of junk that they're going to be the highest quality that they're going to have all the math behind it so that's why I use them uh don't please don't think that you know oh my gosh it's one more person looking to sell me you know something while I'm going through cancer that I have all these you know oh my gosh that's all you're in it for nope I have a lot of people that are in it for the oils and I'm perfectly cool with that so anyway <clears throat> let's get started a lot of my routine starts with my chemo prep. I don't just detox. I do a prep beforehand and then afterwards I do the detox part. I think the prep is just as important as the detox because if you aren't taking care of your organs and making sure that you are really clean and ready for chemotherapy, your body's not going to function as well. So one of the things, so here's the four things that I really try and make sure before my chemotherapy day. My chemotherapy infusion day is on Monday. So I'm starting on Saturday. That's when I start my prep is over the weekend. Not very much fun if you, you know, have kids and that's when you go out and do things. But that's the sacrifice that you make for, for me, it was for four months because if you haven't watched the diagnosis video uh, for my breast cancer, I said no to the red devil, said no to the AC part of the um, AC taxol protocol because of a lupus marker that I carry and I didn't want to trigger that as well as having cancer. So I said no to those two, tried Taxel, had a basically an anaphylactic reaction and my doctor uh, moved me to a Braxane. So it's in the same family. It's still considered a Taxotir, Taxel, Paclitaxel, that type of thing. But um, it's a little bit different, obviously, than everybody else's stuff. And mine's on Mondays. The infusion lasts for about 30 minutes or so. And I'm cold capping during that point. You can tell because I'm on day five. <laughs> I've not been able to wash my hair or color it or cut it or do anything. But so that's why my prep starts on Saturday. So I'm starting two days beforehand. And you want to make sure that your liver, your kidneys, your colon, and your skin basically are all nice and clean. So this is how I do that. And also that you've got some of the things in you that need to fight some stuff too. 
So the first thing that I do, let's just talk about the kidneys because they're easy. Kidneys are super easy. And that's because water, tons and tons and tons of water. This is a 28 ounce water bottle. I think I got this at Costco. The cute little label that says fight on is from the love letter on Etsy. And, um, I make sure that I'm drinking at least four of these for the five days, the two days before, the day of, the two days after, plus my teas that I talked about in the uh, supplements video and in the, the video that I do about tea. And then also, you know, like hot tea and um, I really, LaCroix, I drink a lot of this. We get that at Costco or at Walmart or, geez, Cries Kroger type stuff. Uh, I go through probably two or three of those a day with my Ning Charette. So lots and lots of fluids to keep your, your kidneys flushed out because they're the ones who are helping your liver process all that chemotherapy. <clears throat> then the next thing that I make sure that is nice and clear is my colon. So I do that two ways. One of them is with the supplement, it's Young Living supplement. It's called ICP. It is not a colon blow. It's a nice gentle cleanser. I take this on Saturday morning and you mix it in with water. A lot of times I will mix it in with uh, my, and I'll talk to you about this in a minute, is the supplement amino wise. This has got L-glutamine in it. This is a powder too. It tastes like lemon lime. This stuff is kind of funky because it has psyllium husk in it. If you don't drink it really fast, it gets really thick and that's gross. So I'll put it in with that and drink that pretty quickly. I had a professor, I went back to school not about a year and a half before my cancer diagnosis and was taking nutrition classes. The Lord was watching over me in that regard. And in one of those nutrition classes, my professor talked about psyllium husks and what it does in the body. And basically the non-soluble fiber, the stuff that you can't digest, which is that, acts like a tumbleweed in your colon. And it goes through, just like a tumbleweed does in the desert, and it rolls along and picks up all the excess junk that's laying around. So it just helps your body get rid of that. So this is, I'll do that on Saturday morning. Um, take that with the amino wise. And then also on Saturday morning, in addition to the amino wise, I take one of these, the L-glutamines. We talked about this in the supplement video. This is to help with peripheral neuropathy when you're on a taxol type or a Braxane, Paclitaxel, Taxotere, anything that causes peripheral neuropathy, there are studies that have been, there are new studies that have been shown that this supplement will help reduce your peripheral neuropathy, which if you don't know what that is, it's awful. It's where you get the tingling in your hands and your feet and it doesn't go away. It might after, after chemo, but during, oh, it's awful. And I've only had that happen briefly just for a minute. Like I felt it just once and that's been it. I haven't had it. So I'm knocking on wood that this works. This is an Amazon supplement. The Amino Wise is a Young Living one. I'll link to this in the comments. And then I'll put the item numbers for all the Young Living supplements too. So that's on Saturday. So lots of water, those supplements, and then diet. I'm eating, eating lots of greens. I limit my meat just because it's harder on the, on the system for you to digest. If I do meat... I take an essential enzyme four with it. This is a dietary enzyme that's specifically formulated to help um, in the stomach because that's where you digest uh, proteins, it, like animal proteins is where you break it down. The hydrochloric acid in your stomach breaks all that down. This just assists that and makes things go a little bit smoother. So that's it for Sunday. I also make sure that my house is clean. Saturday or Sunday, my house is getting clean from top to bottom with a plant-based cleaner because I don't want any germs hanging out. Um, I also start really kind of working on my, in addition to my diet, I also start really working on my immune system and I'll make sure that I hit up my smoothies with lots of extra vitamin C, you know, natural vitamin C, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> and... This has got a lot in it. So I add this to my green smoothies during that time so that your body's just getting all the nutrients it could possibly pack in. And I know that during chemo, you may not feel like it, but that's one thing that even if I haven't really felt like eating a lot of food, I'm making sure I get that. And it's easier too, because I add berries to it and that seems to be easier to choke down than some other things. 
Then I also, uh, I make this thing called Thieves Tea that helps, it's an immune uh, system booster. It just helps keep your immune system strong. The Young Living has uh, two different lines of oils. They have one that has a solid colored label like this. Those are your topical and aromatic use oils. And then the ones with the white label are for ingesting. Same exact oil, I'll go in both bottles. But the FDA makes us label this as generally, these are generally regarded as safe, the grass, uh, or gross, however you want to say it, the designation. So these will, these are the ones you can ingest. So I put this on a teaspoon of some of our local honey. I love this one from Absolutely Delightful. That's our local Arizona honey. Make sure the lid's on that. This is the orange blossom one. So you just take a drop of this, put it on a tea, tea, teaspoon of this, and you drop it in a cup of hot water. And I drink that every day, pretty much every day. But especially I make sure if I've forgotten during the week, I, the days beforehand, I'm really trying to beef up my immune system. Mm, that's really good. Sorry, it's holding my finger now. Okay, so then Sunday. And before, you guys are all going to get wigged out about this probably. It's really funny. Uh, I have my girlfriend, Shauna Hirsch, who is of Poor Pitiful Pearl. She's also going through breast cancer. She's, we call each other our breasties. She was the one that turned me on to this. If you've heard of the Gers Gerson uh, therapy, it's a cancer therapy. It's been around for, geez, 80 years or something like that. They talk about coffee enemas. And I was not down with the coffee enemas. I was not doing it. Mm -mm. And she kept telling me, you need to do it. You need to do it. You're going to feel better. It's going to help your liver. It's going to help your colon. It's going to clear everything out. You really need to do this. I do them every day. I do them multiple times a day. I'm like, oh, heck no, girlfriend. Ew, I've never done an enema in my life. But she finally persuaded me to do it. Now, I don't do mine every day. I do them on Sunday. And then I do one again on Tuesday. And they're simple. They may sound gross, but you guys... There's, and this is the one thing that I do that there's not a ton of scientific data behind it, but because it worked for me, because I felt better, because it seemed like it didn't take, it wasn't as hard on my body to process the chemo out, I keep doing it. Maybe it's psychosomatic, I don't know, take this one with a grain of salt, but it's easy. You take, you get one of these, and I'll link it in the comments, an enema kit off of Amazon. I want to say maybe it's under 15 bucks. And you can get the extra tubing and whatnot. Honestly, unless you're going for a year, if you've just got chemo going for three to four months, I just think that you need a one, but maybe grab an extra tubing set. And you take three tablespoons of organic uh, coffee that's been ground up, three tablespoons, about four cups of filtered water. So if you have a Berkey or a filtering water system, that'll work. You boil it. You brew it in, I brew mine in a French press. You can do it in a, in a saucepan, a steel, stainless steel saucepan and drain it. It doesn't matter. And then you let the coffee cool. Very important. Dump it in the bucket. Set the bucket up on top of the toilet seat. Lay down on the floor on a towel. Use the towel. Do lube up the tip really good with some coconut oil. In it goes. Release the clamp. Make sure that you've already got some coffee in there. Don't be putting air up your bum and in your colon. And then you lay there for 12 to 15 minutes and you let on your right side and you let it work. I'm not joking, you guys. It works. It really does. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> but if it's not something that's, that's your cup of tea, I totally get it. Look into it some more. You never know. So that's Sunday. Again, doing the same diet routine, the whole kit and caboodle. On Sunday night, I also take a an Epsom salt bath. And the Epsom salts, hold on, I moved my bag. I know, so tacky. But you're not here for the professionalism, you're here for the info, right? These will get better. Uh, Epsom salts, you can get these Walmart, Target, your grocery store in the first aid section. This one I get, I, okay, so these are two big six pound bags. You can get these at Costco for under eight bucks. You can get Epsom salt on Amazon. Uh, so I take... A cup of this, or a cup to two cups. It's your it's your preference. I personally just use a cup. And in it, I dump um, some lemon, because your, oops, yeah. Because your lemon loves, your liver loves the lemon. And then I also put in it this oil called Release. It's a blend. 
and I forget exactly what it's got in it. Ling Lang. Oh geez, you guys, this is so small. Um, olive oil, geranium. I know there's some woodsy ones in here. Tangerine. There's a whole bunch of oils. It's got a really, I like the smell a lot. Little floral, but not super, but this one was intended as an emotional oil to help you release your toxic emotions. But I also find that it seem, seems to release whatever my body's holding on to. So whether that be tension in my muscles or whatever, you know, what else, whatever else is going on, it seems that that just helps me flush it out. So that lemon and, um, copaiba. Copaiba is kind of important. Copaiba and the lemon. And then sometimes I'll drop some frankincense in there. It just, it depends. Uh, I like sacred frank. Regular frankincense is cool too. So then I do that for about, oh, I don't know. I'll soak in there for 30 minutes to an hour on Sunday night. And I've tried not doing that and I just haven't felt as good the next day. Also, making sure that I have my, my, um, my poop stuff on board. Make sure that I was taking this in the morning, the digestion cleanse. We talked about this in the supplement video and the comfort tone. Super important. Super important. So morning of. Morning of. Um, I make sure I take up on the supplements, especially the ones I just talked about. I take my, I do my Ning Shred. And my appointments are normally at 10. Make sure that I've got at least half, if not all of one of these in me already. Yeah, I have to get it multiple times in pee, but it's worth it. And then uh, we go get my dry ice for my for my cold cap. If you don't know what a cold cap is, uh, the video's not already up, it will be, but it super cools your head so that your hair doesn't fall out. And obviously it's worked because my hair's all still here. So maybe it's a little thin in a couple spots, like it's underneath where I didn't get it super cold, but it works and it's awesome. <laughs> But you have to do it before you start chemo. Um, now, that morning, we go get the dry ice, get that all set up. And that morning, you guys, I'm a little lax on, on chemo days. I get a cup of Starbucks. And I, I drink that during my infusion, plus my water, of course. But those are the days where I'm just like, okay, maybe get a little sugar going in me to help that cancer. If, you've, if you're familiar with IPT, which is insul insulin something therapy. It's a naturopathic therapy where they believe that insulin helps. They inject you with insulin with a low dose of chemo. It's a very expensive treatment, like 2,500 bucks a pop. But they believe that the insulin helps uh, the, the medicine. It goes in first, and they believe that cancer cells take more glucose, which they do. They're rapidly dividing cells, so they do take more glucose. But they believe that that kind of tricks the cancer into getting those, and it has the chemotherapy attached to it and supposedly it I haven't tried it so I'm saying supposedly but that that helps kill the cancer without going through such high doses of chemo it makes sense if I sit here and think about it, I'm like yeah okay it makes sense I just personally can't talk about it because I haven't done it uh and then for the rest of the day I'm kind of chill like afterwards I'll you know my husband will go get me a sandwich and some soup I love soup on chemo days I don't really know why maybe just because it's a comfort food and then my oncologist told me that my chemo is out of my system in about 24 hours. So about 12 hours later, I take another detox bath. Just to whatever starting to come out, I can help it along. Because if not, I feel horrible the next day. So again, I'll do, I'll do just the, the Epsom salts. I'll do about a cup. And then I'll put the release and the copaiba in. I don't necessarily do the lemon. And then that's it for that night. I make sure that I'm still taking all my supplements. Oh, and then on chemo day, one of these in the morning and a, and a cup of this without the ICP, just with this, and then a cup again at night and one of these. Making sure that I get lots and lots of, of uh, L-glutamine in me. Okay, so next day. Normally my infusions end at about noon and that's when I go into full detox mode. So another one of these and then that's when I really start hitting, I mean, I've been drinking water, but then that's when I start adding lemon 
vitality to it. I think when you do just lemon, uh, just lemon, it can get really acidic, especially if you've had problems with mouth sores, that acidity just will rip your mouth up. I haven't had those during, um, during my treatments. I suck on a, on a thieves lozenge or a thieves cough drop or something. And that seems to have kept that okay. It's just because I think it has the thieves in it. And if you're not familiar with thieves, let me tell you about thieves real quick. Where'd I put it? Thieves, thieves. Thieves is a blend. The story behind it, uh, that during the plague, there was a group of thieves that robbed the dead and the dying of their belongings. And they didn't get sick. They finally got caught. And when they did, part of their, part of their deal, I guess you could say, their bargain was that they had to tell what they used so that they didn't get sick. And it was a combination of five essential oils and it is eucalyptus, cinnamon, clove, rosemary, and lemon. Therefore, that's kind of why I just do that to see. I don't know. I haven't had to suck on the ice chips or anything. That seems to have worked. I don't know. That's what I do. So after that point, I'm making sure that, you know, lots of lemon in my water. Like I said, your liver loves the lemon. And then I'm in full on every nutrient I can pack into me. All the spinach, all the kale, all the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, berries galore. I am up in my ningxia. That's uh, chemo days, one ounce, maybe two. Because sometimes I'll take a, a single serve pack with me to chemo. But then I am four to five ounces without a doubt. Like I get crazy with the ningxia because I want all those antioxidants in me to help start tracking down those free radicals. And then that night I take a heavy duty detox bath. So again, two cups of the Epsom salts. Then I add in about, I don't know, um, two, I'd, I'd say I do like maybe two tablespoons to a quarter cup of this, uh, bentonite clay. Cause that pulls, helps pull everything out of your skin. And then I also add about a third of a cup baking soda, just aluminum free baking soda. Don't find the crap that has aluminum in it. You don't want that. You don't want that. Then I also up my multigreens, want that spirulina and that choline in me. And, um, that night I also add in some activated charcoal and then I'm added in the Juvitone. So this has got dandelion root, beetroot. This is a super duper liver support uh, supplement. Love this one. It smells awful. I like it. it. makes me gag every time I open the bottle. But I'll make sure that night that I take at least two. If I can choke down four, I take four. And then I'm taking two in the morning and two at night on, um, on Wednesday and Thursday. This is a really important one. I also make sure that I'm taking this one, which is called Detoxime. I just take two of these uh, starting on Tuesday night. And then I'm making sure that I'm adding in also everything. Detox, detox, detox. This is amazing grass green superfood. This goes in my smoothie. It tastes like dirt, but it's got, again, beet and dandelion root and alfalfa. And let's see here. It's got some of that spirulina because I talked about that. Kale, uh, barley greens, parsley, all the good stuff, all the good stuff that your body needs. And then lastly, I'm definitely making sure I'm getting the sulfurs I'm in starting Tuesday night. So, uh, the only other thing that I really suggest is that you make sure that everything you can do to support your immune system you do. So like I'm using inner defense and immu pro that I talked about in the supplement thing, but also why I cleaned my house was so that I didn't, or if you can't clean your house, get somebody to clean your house, but then also make sure that you're using lots of hand sanitizer. We don't use that nasty crap that microbial, whatever that creates super bugs. We use the young living one. This is their waterless hand purifier because superbugs tend to end up resistant to that stuff. It's been proven. And this one's plant-based. So we use all plant-based stuff in our house. And the only other thing that I really suggest for me personally is taking care of your emotions during that time because it's really easy to get emotional. 
you go through two things when you go through chemotherapy, a lot of anger and fear and discouragement and things that, because I don't know, for me at first, it felt like my body betrayed me. Here I am living this totally healthy lifestyle. I had this one little thing in me, this IUD, and that was all I, you know, that's all I had in my life. And it screwed me over. And I was so mad in the beginning, but emotions have proven to be really toxic with cancer patient. Take care of with cancer patients. So take care of your emotions. Let that stuff go. There's a couple oils and one of them I forgot to grab. One's called surrender. I'll use that. I'll put it on my collarbones. If I'm feeling like that, if I'm feeling that anger and that resentment, I'll wear that one. There's also one called acceptance. And I know this all sounds frou-frou and just silly, but it's not. I was one of those that went, I am never using one of those. That is stupid. I'm not doing it. And they've ended up to be one of my greatest assets during this time, but acceptance. Uh, this is my favorite one right now is gratitude. I wear this on my collarbones during my infusion. And I just sit there and think that I'm so grateful that I am able to receive chemotherapy and that it's doing what it needs to be doing during that time. If this is really traumatic. Oh, another one, good one for that whole thing too, is called believe. It's kind of a woodsy. It's like a Christmassy smell. Oh, I love it so much. But that's another good one that you could use if it's really traumatic for you. If you're if you're dealing with a lot of trauma with this, trauma life. And we'll talk about these more in an essential oil video. Or Sarah, I know this one's supposed to for those that are with Young Living. You're like, okay, but this isn't a sexual thing. But this is also one that's a trauma one. And then I also really like this one, which is called Envision. Because I sit there and envision my future being cancer free. You can also use ones like stress away or peace and calming. And like I said, I'll talk about those in a different video, but those are really good ones that I like to use to keep my head in the right place. So that is my detox routine. I'm sure I've forgotten something. I always do. Eh, I think that's basically it, <clears throat> but make sure, oh, excuse me, when you have no nose hairs, your nose drips, by the way, that's so cool. It's not. Kind of like your poor eyebrows where you have to draw them in or your eyelashes. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, leave it in the comments. If you aren't comfortable leaving it in the comments, then you can get on mommymoxie.com and go to the contact me part and send me a message through there. I get that. I am not leaving my email up there because every, every spammer and their dogs will end up finding me and sending me crap and I get enough of that. So uh, I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. If you can get on a rebounder, a, dry, a little mini trampoline, get on there for 10 minutes a day. And if you can, get out and walk for 30 minutes a day. Those are going to be two things that are going to work that chemo through too as well. I knew that I was forgetting something. That was it. Make sure that you can, even if you get on the treadmill and just walk for 30, it's something, something. And plus that's been the one thing that I've found consistently across the board. Physical exercise for 30 minutes a day keeps the cancer reoccurrence away. So... Again, contact me, throw me a note, whatever it is. You can find me on social media at mommymoxie.com or you can contact me through the website uh, or on Facebook. You can find me there too through the Mommy Moxie page, which I know is kind of baby directed right now, but we'll see if that changes. Or Tangerines and Time. That's our, that's our Young Living group. If you're interested in getting a hold of some of these supplements, you can join through our group, contact me about that, or you can just go to, w, uh, let's see here, www.yl.pe forward slash 35GH, and that will get you hooked up. You can start off with a Ningxia starter kit, which is my suggestion for anybody that is on this journey. This is my favorite one. If you're really interested in the oils, there's an oil premium starter kit. You get to choose a diffuser, which is so cool. Or if you're looking to get into the green side of things, there's a thief starter kit that comes with the household cleaner that we use and some of this and soap and all kinds of stuff. So questions, contact me. Thanks so much for sitting out here for almost 30 minutes. Take care of yourselves and here's to healing. Bye.